all right we're doing it again we're doing another mini review so far i've been loving the hell out of these characters no pun intended because it's doom get it haha uh -huh. anyways uh we reviewed ourselves the slayer and the tyrant and i love these figures so much and i'm so excited this is coming straight off the tyrant video i'm just keeping on recording because i am loving these guys so much so today is actually the first purchase that i got when i first got my credit card not gonna lie which is kind of sad but honestly i don't know it's cool but here we go this is the marauder mini collectible i am excited for this one because i love the marauder i know a lot of people don't for some reason i think the marauder's design is cool i love his voice i love his gameplay style he is such a good character and i always play him in battle mode because he's the only character i really know how to play as in battle mode but the box is just the same as the tyrants red vlogging on it markings on it the uh doom symbol his figure um so far i've had no complaints uh with the first uh, visual look at the figure when I first saw him online, um, along with the Tyrant. The Tyrant was the only one that I was most nervous about because I wasn't sure if he was going to look this good, but he freaking does. He so looks good. So, we're going to open this guy up, and I am excited to see this guy. So, we're going to chop this boy up. Now, as I'm speaking now probably won't be uh, when I get this video out but the Slayer video is actually uploading right now I haven't even uploaded the Tyrant video yet so I'm just going all these back and back because I am excited and I want to see all these guys together so we're gonna gently open this up it's very hard to record there we go kind of hard to record with how big it is and there is our third sticker which i am loving very nice i'm excited to get like a whole bunch of these guys and um just excited to have all these stickers and all these characters let's take this bad boy out let's see it's a little thing blocking my way and there's the foam i got like a collection of foam now and a boxes too so we're going to oh crap there's a baseball game going on i can see the lights out there anyways that's beyond the point usually I mean, it's kind of surprising because i mean i haven't seen them play on that field in a while it's out in the forest so all i see is the lights which is kind of cool it's also fun to hear a lot of people screaming maybe that isn't a baseball field Anyways, let's just cut this bad boy open. The nice trusty knife. It is definitely not sharpened at all. I need to get this thing sharpened. Because I am struggling. That part is very sharp though. So here we go. First reaction with you guys. Here we go. About to look at this guy. I am excited. I am so excited. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. Oh, he is gorgeous I say that with all of them but that is nice looking and again these are my raw reactions I've never opened these before oh he's heavy too <laughs> oh he is nice I love the green on him it looks way greener on camera but there is definitely some mixtures of green in there that's a nice looking oh i love how simple the axe is oh that's nice looking so good i love it so much so this is the marauder oh his horns are nice and sharp i love it i love it i love it so much i love so much of the detailing on him dang he's so good looking his forehead is very big very big forehead I gotta sneeze oh boy well that's a pretty good look at Ooh, forehead but huh. 
we got very nice very nice detailing on this figure love it love it to death crap it does not want to come out like it's like there but it's not all right so let's lower this thing down and let's take a good look at them from this view this will probably be the shortest video but let's look at all three of them together real quick oh that's so nice it's so nice it's so good it's so good oh yes okay so we're gonna do our normal thing with the little six size comparisons there's a little mystery mini there there is the six inch carbonized bubble fet very cool very cool and here is the giant Funko Pop uh, Cyber Demon. And I gotta say, this thing is so nice to look at. I love this thing a lot. Love it. It's so good looking. I love the armor. I love all the little detailings there. I even love the simplified axe. Love it. This guy is so good. Love it. And definitely heavy. With all three of them in hand. Don't want to like have them touching together. Like there's some nice heft to it. There's a really nice look heft to it. The plastic it's made out of is very nice. Very nice. Very durable. Uh, not the paint. Probably the paint would chip like crazy. But that is nice. Love it to death. I love this thing. Oh my gosh, he's so good. He's so good. Dang, it's hard to get it nice and focused. I think that's good enough. But yeah, that is nice. Painted greatly. Um, There's not too much to really talk about. Since everything I am talking about, I've talked about before. There is a weird little, little, little thing right there. You see that? It's yellow right in there. I don't know what that is. Huh. That was weird. But, it's nice looking. I love it. This thing is so good. I love it so much. I'm going to be saying that a lot because I do. I really think this thing is awesome. There's really not much to talk about. I really don't know what else to talk about. Because uh, I've pretty much said, like I said, I've talked about everything I needed to say with these figures. But Marauder is definitely a really nice character. I don't know why people hate on him so much. He's definitely a really cool character to me. Um, and probably to a lot of other people too. But these figures have been blowing my mind. And I am just happy with them. I'm so happy. I love just how accurate he looks. Like... I think the Tyrant is definitely the most accurate to the game. Um, the Marauder is definitely... He's pretty accurate. He's pretty up there. I think just the green looks a little off um, to the actual game. But honestly, I don't mind. To a figure like this, it's definitely fine. The Slayer had that problem too. And the Tyrant... I don't think he even has that problem. We don't really see his back, so that doesn't really count. But I think everything else is accurate. He's probably the most game accurate figure you can get. So if you really want game accuracy for your money, definitely go for the Tyrant. That's just all I'm saying. But the Marauder is so nice. I think the weirdest part is his forehead. I think that's the only weird part. But I think the rest of them is fine. I love just a lot about this guy i love the detailing the paint job the simplified axe he's definitely he definitely looks good next to all three of them i love these guys and they're such a good part to the collection i am excited to get more of them i cannot wait for them to release it i was excited before but now i am extremely excited but that is pretty much all i have to really say this is definitely going to be shorter videos, little mini videos for little mini toys. So, thank you guys so much for watching again. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please uh, do.
do whatever you want, subscribe, comment, whatever. Dang, these things are awesome. But if you're excited for any of them, definitely tell me which one. Mine is definitely the Pain Elemental. I'm excited for that one. I am. I don't know what else to say. I honestly don't know what else to say. These guys have just been amazing that I've sent everything with the rest of these guys. And I'm just happy. Like everything I've said about these guys goes with these videos too. So these guys are just amazing. I love these guys. I'm saying that so many times because I want you to know. Oh my gosh. That's probably like, what, over $100 right there? What am I doing with my life? <laughs> Anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hopefully you did enjoy this little short video. And I'm hoping to get the Kakademo one out uh, maybe sometime tomorrow. Because I'm pretty sure all these won't uh, upload in time because my internet sucks. But definitely expect this one and this one to come out. This one maybe later. And definitely stay tuned for the Kakademo. And then eventually... We're going to get our hands on the Icon of Sin, and we're going to review that one. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you, love you, show.